Installing Kohler Linear Drains This video demonstrates an installation of the traditional waterproofing method. A video demonstrating the topical waterproofing installation method is also available. This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation instructions included with your product for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Follow all local plumbing and building codes. Install a 2-inch clamp down the drain body. Construct a waterproofed sloped floor to the drain. Turn off the main water supply. Install the threaded tailpiece into the drain body at the desired height. Set the drain on the tailpiece. Using the strainer, turn the drain adapter clockwise into the tailpiece to fit the drain assembly. Confirm that the drain is level and at the proper height. Position the drain over the drain outlet, parallel to the wall. Slide the trays toward the walls. Position the inside walls of the drain to be flush with the surface of the finished wall. Using a permanent marker, mark the ends of the side trays that are closest to the drain. Make a second mark on the film 1 4th inch to the inside of the original mark. Remove the drain and side trays from the shower enclosure. Without removing the film, peel the protective film up to the markings. Cut the protective film at the inner markings. Clean the drain surfaces with cleaning solvent. Do not wipe away the marked lines. Starting at the marked lines, apply sealant about 3 inches from the traced line on the inside and sides of the drain. Align the edge of the side tray with the traced line and firmly press the tray into the drain. Securely tighten the screws on each side of the tray. Verify that the sealant presses out along the full edge. Wipe away excess sealant. Verify that the assembly is flat and straight. Repeat for the other side of the tray. Reposition the drain into the shower enclosure. Apply sealant to the inner edge of the drain hole. Place the drain onto the threaded tailpiece. Insert the threaded collar. Secure the assembly by attaching the strainer to the threaded collar. If needed, tighten the strainer using a quarter inch hex wrench. Ensure that the surround surface is clean and free of debris. Pivot the leveling brackets down against the subfloor. Adjust the brackets until the drain is level and in the proper position. Using a 4 mm hex wrench, lock the brackets into position. Remove the film from the provided adhesive patch and position over the opening on the bracket. Press the patch for 10 seconds to adhere the bracket to the subfloor. Repeat for the other bracket. To install the tile guide, first measure the inner length of the drain. Unfold the tile guide and cut to appropriate length. Fold and fit the tile guide into the drain. Install the surrounding backer board. Install a pitched mortar cement or foam board that is flush to the surface of the drain flange. If installing a cement floor, check that the drain is level throughout the process of pouring the cement to ensure that the drain does not move. Allow the cement to cure according to the manufacturer's instructions. Remove and discard the protective film from the drain flange. Remove and save the tile guide. Clean and remove any excess debris from the drain. Install the finished floor and walls. Leave the tile guide installed until you are ready to install the drain grate. Drain grates, which are sold separately, are available to coordinate with the linear drain. For the tile-in drain grate, it is recommended to complete the drain grate installation simultaneously with the finished floor. A video demonstrating the installation of Kohler's linear drain grate is also available. 